Ukraine is shelled and bombed, the country's desperate call for volunteer fighters grows louder. Among those willing to march in, Americans. Has it sunk in the seriousness? Like New Jersey carpenter Andrew Bennett. Was there a moment that you decided you're going to go and try to fight in Ukraine, help Ukraine? Yeah, the moment I found out you could. Have you thought about what would happen if you were to get injured? I guess I'll figure it out when I get there. With no backup or safety net from the U.S. government, the risks are enormous. Nevertheless, he is ready and willing to be part of the bravest armed forces and join the International Legion of Territorial Defense, which has ballooned to 16,000 volunteers from across the globe, says President Zelensky. They arrived to defend freedom, defend life, he added. We were there as Bennett began his paperwork at the Ukrainian consulate in New York. The form advising people to be fully self-equipped with uniform personal protection and an explicit reminder it's on a voluntary basis. The form also asks applicants to specify your job, military combat experience. Volunteers could be chosen to go at any time and at their own expense. Bennett's hoping his willingness to learn will be enough. So why now? I'm not married. I have no kids. So... I'm getting up there in age, uh, I'm still able-bodied. For many American volunteers like Andrew Bennett, they have no ties to the Eastern European country, yet they feel compelled to make a difference, even as the U.S. State Department urges Americans to avoid Ukraine. The extreme danger there, not lost on Marine combat veteran and father of four, Dennis Diaz. If I were to die over there in Ukraine, then guess what? My children will know that I paid the highest price to um, be able to stand up and fight for what's right. An unshakable determination inspired by Ukrainians' desperate fight for freedom. Emily Ikeda, NBC News, New York. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.